What's up, guys? Welcome to the Stats Free Sports Channel. Let's get right into it. Hit a brand new prediction video, and it is on Las Vegas pass, Las Vegas Raiders pass rusher Cleveland Farrell. I believe the struggling pass rusher will get a new start with the Patriots, and let's talk about why. Patriots fans, calm down. I already know what you're going to say. He's a bust. He's a bust. We don't want him. Even players that, that are busts, they, they can still carve out good roles and have good moments with, with new, new teams and new situations. Now, I, I don't like when fans do that. He's a bust. He's not good. He's not good at what we thought he was you know, or what he was drafted at with, with that potential for the fourth, fourth overall pick in, in his draft a couple years ago, which was a shocker to everyone. No one thought Farrell would go that high. But Farrell can still have a good career and finish out strong. You know, I still believe in him and players like him who aren't in the right situation and in, in, in the right fit. So Farrell, if you don't know, star out of Clemson a couple years ago, came into his first year to the NFL, four and a half sacks. Uh, since then, he's only had three and a half sacks. And I think one and, a half, one and a half last year with 10 pressures. Not a good last season. Definitely not. This season, early in, 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 in OTAs, they move him to D-tackle. And coming out of Clemson as well, I forgot to mention, he is a, he is a, a trainer. A uh, guy that's kind of stuck in between the, the measurables and skill set of a pass rusher off the edge and a D-tackle. The move to D-tackle, I don't like, honestly. He's not strong enough. I don't think he's fast enough either to beat those bigger guards or or centers, uh, you know. So I like him on the edge more, and I think Josh McDaniels, the head coach of of the of the uh, New England, uh, excuse me, of the Las Vegas Raiders, we've known who he's been associated with and been a part of on uh, team wise the last couple years for you no know, last ten years on different stints, and that's the Patriots, and the Patriots need need some pass rushing help. You know, they made some trades at linebacker here and there. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm not editing out. I recorded this video about five times. I've been stuttering and talking fast, so I'm going to keep all that in there. But, uh, excuse me for that. But um, the Patriots need some pass rushing help. They made some moves this year. I believe they brought in Mac, Bills, Mac Wilson from the Browns, who's not a pass rusher. He's an inside guy. But the weakest spot of the Patriots might be pass rushing right right now, honestly. You know, that ain't offensive play calling. I don't know what the world they're doing there with Matt Patricia or Joe Judge playing doing doing the play calling. But it is what it is. I don't none of my business. I'm a Falcons fan, I mind my business. But uh pass rushing spot is a weakness in my personal opinion. Uh that they, they don't really have a, a not a star or no no big name guy that'll really fill a role there, you know what I mean? So I think Cleveland Farrell, trade him to the Patriots. And you know they'll they'll finesse it with a seventh round pick, sixth round pick, nothing expensive. He he's not worth anything more than, than though one one of those two, sixth or seventh round pick. So um I definitely think they'll they can land him. And you know, when you trade to the Patriots, it seemed like you're you were at a crossroads. You're either one step, you know, forward or you're either out the league next if, if the Patriots can't can't use you. So it seems like that. It might be that for, for Cleveland Farrell if he is traded there, to be honest. you know. So it is going to be tough. I'm not going to lie about that. But if the Patriots can, can can use you and you be productive on that squad and you know carve out a role for yourself, I think Farrell could definitely turn this you know trip p potential trip to the, to, to the Patriots and flip it into something decent and carry on decent to another team or the Patriots long term. So I think it's a good fit for him, honestly. The best fit, honestly. Most other teams can't really use a skill set. Like I said, he's not fast enough. He's not strong enough to move to the inside. He's not power rusher. He's, you know, he's just a, a, a really stuck in the hard. He's a tweener stuck in the hard place, honestly. And uh, I think, you know, the, the Patriots having a top defense last year, they could definitely surround him with talent. Some Something he wasn't really surrounded with, with with the Raiders. You know, they just, you know, Max Crabby. Has been good for a couple years. He was great last year. You know, uh, Yonk and Gakwe took away some of the snap or all the snaps from from Farrell last year. You know, so they really haven't had a great defense around Farrell since he's been with the Raiders. So I think going to a better team, having more talent around him, more more DB talent, more linebacker talent, things of that nature, might help his game out a little bit more. So, uh, but that's it for video, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Excuse that sneeze in the middle. Apologize about that. But that's it for video. I will see you guys next time.